But a little birdie told me that you're not going to see it till after the election, but you're going to start seeing a lot of sweeping changes in healthcare. You're going to start seeing a shit ton of sweeping, oh, good shit. Like a lot of good, you're going to see a lot of deregulation. This is what this guy said. Like I said, a little birdie told me, and you're going to see it almost immediately. Certainly by the middle of 2025, they're going to have a lot of this stuff rolling, trying to get passed. And there's a lot of support because is, it, is this like just in Congress? Or in Congress. Yeah. No, it's got None very, it's got very little to do with Trump. Well, I, I tell you what, if he's in, it'll get signed. Oh, it will. Not, it will. It will. If he's not, they're, they're, they're talking about doing a lot of stuff. He said, you're going to start seeing. You're going to start getting calls and being visited by people that sell insurance and be like, well, hey, we've got these new products that are heavily affordable, blah, 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 Deregulation. Blah. And if they stop statewide, that's what they're, if that's they what stop they're, statewide health insurance. Well, and they're going to – basically they're going to – and, again, I don't understand all the legal ease. He explained it, but I'll be honest. I didn't get it because I'm not – I don't sell fucking insurance. I don't know what the fuck this all means. But they're basically going to do a lot of deregulations and – be less strict with classifications on certain things. Like right now you have health plans that only have such and such. There's going to be a lot more customization options available. And then they're already, he said that prescription drug prices are going to start going way down in 2025 because they're going to start doing a lot of, uh, I mean, if, uh, if we just had transparency within, within that's the basically in the health uh, industry. Well, so one of the, one of the big things was the Biden administration was trying to make it so that this is the part that I do remember and understood the Biden administration was trying to pass a law where that would basically make it so companies that do research and development like drug companies, like tech companies would not be able to deduct their research and development costs off of their taxes. Yeah, that's right. Fucking stupid. It's it's a tax write off. Like, well, but they're what they're trying to do is again they're trying to raise the taxes on these guys, and that's a big way. But I'm like, did you just uh, not think about what that means? So California raised their tax rates on uh, quite a bit of people, and they also raised minimum minimum wage there to like astronomical highs. Yeah, so and they you can get more happen? tax money. They literally, the people who employ people have been laying off people and because they have to because they can't afford it because the thing is at the end of the day a business is always going to prioritize profit over employees and i i I know it sounds bad but at the same time the business has to stay profitable 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 Uh, i'm I'm starting to sound like biden the business has to stay profitable in order to i don't know succeed because you have to how is that such a fucking hard thing to get I, i don't understand these people 